One of the most popular uses for artificial intelligence is to research information, to find information, and to gather information very quickly. Um, generative AI is helpful to maybe write an email or write a short summary or to, to summarize a paragraph of information in something you can understand. And so what I want to show you today is using this type of concept to investigate something and to evaluate something that may be applicable in your, in your life. What I'm going to use as my example is the investment uh, decisions we have to make around investing in 401ks. So there's a lot of information. A lot of people choose not to move on the 401k investments simply because they don't understand it or they don't know what to invest in. So with artificial intelligence, we're going to take a look at the, the mutual funds that are in our 401k, compare some funds against one another, look at the performance information, and even do some um, time value of money calculations to understand what we need to invest, how much we need to invest to reach a particular goal. So let's take a look at how we do that using Microsoft Copilot, which is freely available from Microsoft at copilot.microsoft.com. So visit that site if you'd like to follow along and let's get started. One of the things that AI can do for us is analyze data very quickly. And one of the examples that I wanna to provide to you is uh, how to analyze the mutual funds in your 401k. So if you have a, a retirement account at your work, you might be wondering what kind of things do these funds uh, invest in and which funds are similar to one another and which ones are different from one another. So you can either diversify or consolidate your investments. So we're going to take a look at that. First, I'm going to ask Copilot, which uh, is free from Microsoft at copilot.microsoft.com. I'm going to ask it, what is FBGRX? Because I see that's one of the funds that is in my uh, 401k program for my, for my company. So Copilot's going to go out and pull back information. And it's a nice little description about what uh, the FBGRX is. Uh, it says it's a mutual fund, long-term capital growth, and blue chip stocks. And so this, if this matches my uh, desired investment scheme, then uh, I might uh, be interested in this. Uh, this even provides a current price as of the 22nd. Uh, the net value, uh, net asset value is uh, 179.19. So obviously I would want to go and confirm that, check it out and make sure that that's correct. So any of this information that appears here, I would want to take a look at. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so with that particular fund, I want to ask uh, Copilot, what has the performance been over the past three years? Is this a mutual fund that I would be interested in investing in? Um, is it going to provide me a good uh, return in the future? Of course, this is based on past results, which isn't a, a good way to make an a, uh, investment decision. But this kind of shows me, is this fund on an increase or a decrease as far as its performance is concerned? The next thing it does is it provides me a graph here that I can now interact with. So a three month increase over time is 29 points over three years. It's 6.31 uh, from where it is uh, previous and then uh, five years and then the maximum. So for all the time since uh, 1987, this shows me the growth over that time frame. Now, let's get more complex. The 401k is often has uh, more than one mutual fund in it. So with this prompt, I'm going to ask Copilot to compare two different funds against one another, the Invesco fund and a Fidelity fund, and find out how do these two things compare to one another. So Copilot's going to go out and pull this information back, provide a little bit of performance information, and it says, you know, here's a, a comparison over the past year, this fund has returned 46, while this fund has returned uh, just a slightly less, but not, not a big difference there. And so both of these funds appear to be um, pretty good funds. These are, these are maybe of interest to me. Now, because these funds are so similar, I might want to uh, find out, okay, so with all the six funds that I found in my 401k, what are the funds that uh, are categorized? I, I like these funds the best. They have the most growth or they match my investment uh, ideas. Which funds uh, are 
how are they categorized? Are they large uh, blue chip funds? Are they uh, emerging uh, uh, areas in the in the world? So this actually can show me Copilot's going to go out and pull that information back for me. Uh, these are large growth, large value, mid cap value. There's an emerging market and a mid cap growth. So of those six funds that I specified in my prompt, it's going to go out and search for those and bring that back. And that is really, really useful information for me uh, to make a decision. Um, so now that I've settled on three different funds based on the information that I've gathered so far, um, I want to know what are the stocks that are in these various funds and what does it invest in? What do each of the funds that I've selected here, I'm asking Copilot, what are the top 10 holdings for those different funds? And what is the percentage of the fund held in each of the stocks. So let me go and execute that prompt. This is going to bring back uh, a large list of things that are the investments associated with these different funds. And you can see it started with FBGRX and it's listing the individual stocks under this mutual fund and the percentage of the fund that is invested in that stock. Now it's going to do that for each of the three funds that I've identified. Um, and this is something that is you know, this is a lot of information and as a as a person and as people we have a difficult time assimilating information and understanding okay so do these three funds invest in the same stocks different stocks what are the areas they invest in and what's the percentage of each of these so i'm going to ask copilot to clarify this information for me just a little bit so i'm going to prompt it with provide a sum total of the percentage for each stock investment in these funds in a table. So go and do a summarization of these funds and tell me the overall investment of these companies. So it will now show me a list of those companies and aggregate that information. So for the, uh, the stock investment and the funds that I've identified, here's the sum total of all those stocks that are being invested in. Uh, this is going to be really useful information for me to say, you know what, these are pretty good companies. Maybe there's a company here I'm interested in investing in that is not represented. So I might want to go and find a fund that, that focuses on those areas. So that's a very useful table. Of course, with Copilot, I can always go down and choose to copy and paste that information into a document. Copilot offers a nice trick with a table is I can go up and I can click one button and it will take that information and export it to Excel. So now I can then manipulate it myself or document it for uh, why I might be interested in investing in those funds. Now changing focus just a little bit, I might be a novice investor and I really don't know that much about investing. And there's a lot of smart people out there that do know a lot about investing. So I'm going to ask Copilot, uh, what does uh, what asset allocation does Jack Bogle recommend? And are there any books that cover his strategy? Uh, Jack Bogle is, if you've never heard of him, is a is a, a very popular and esteemed investor, um, and he is, as it says here, founder of the Vanguard Group. So this kind of shows me a little bit about his philosophy, who he was. Um, here it says, uh, if you're 40 years old, have 40% of your uh, portfolio's value in bonds or whatever your age is, you should have that percentage in bonds is what that paragraph says. Now it talks about some of his books and here in a moment, it's going to actually highlight some of those books and show me and make it one click easy to go and uh, access that book on different websites. And I can scroll through and see the different books that he is either uh, written or is represented in. So now we're going to flip the script just a little bit here and I'm going to go and say I want to do some calculations. Specifically, I desire to have a million dollars US uh, in 35 years. So I currently have about this much money, in this case $20,000. How much do I need to invest each year to reach my goal? So this is a great what-if uh, calculation or a uh, future value uh, a, a future value of money calculation that I would normally do on a business calculator, 
uh, co-pilot can do that for me and uh, give me that answer. So how much do I need to invest uh, and what do I need to do over the course of 35 years to have a million dollars? This says I need to invest uh, $1,700 uh, for $750 per month if you expect a 3% yearly return or $1,000 per month if you expect a 6%. Well, I sure hope we don't have a 3%. So I'm going to uh, say, okay, this is, um, this is something that I'm really hopeful for the 6%. But if I'm optimistic in the market, I'm going to ask Copilot, uh, what if I assume an 8% annual ROI? So my return on investment is 8% over 35 years, and I'm investing on a monthly basis. Um, what can I expect then? So Copilot comes back and says, if you assume an 8% annual return on investment, uh, invest $1,000 per month to reach the uh, 1 million goal in 35 years. So this provides a lot of good links. Um, I know that this website in particular has calculators that you can use to uh, evaluate some of these numbers. So these are some of the ideas of why I might use Copilot to help me make a decision around investing or the mutual funds I invest in or whatever the case might be. Maybe it's not even investing. It's uh, other areas of my, uh, my work or my business. I want to interrogate information, have Copilot bring me back information, do calculations, and go out and search and find and uh, show me information that I can and, uh, understand in a way that I can understand and maybe even export and keep. So in this video, I've shown you how you might use Copilot to evaluate investments, look up mutual fund information, uh, calc do calculations on future value of money, um, and understand a lot of information in a very quick uh, way, in a very summarized way, I would recommend that you now take that information and investigate it yourself. What are the percentages and the summary of the statements around the mutual fund that uh, are invested in? Because some of that information might be a little aged uh, and I might need to confirm that I have the latest information related to the investment percentages. Well, I hope you found this information useful. If you've never used artificial intelligence or you don't have any experience with it, this is a, as easy as it can get to get information from an AI engine to help you to investigate things quickly and make decisions.